Hi, welcome to CMS. We're still in the quantity surveying in the structure work. We finish the foundation and strap beam. We'll start now in the next of the next of the structure element in the substructure, which is the tie beam. The tie beam, which is connecting all the neck columns together and to receive the slab on grade and the first floor structure. Like this in our project. Here are the tie beams, which is connected all the neck columns together. There is many types of tie beams. Each type have different size and different reinforcements. How to deal with the tie beams in the CMS and what to insert in the CMS and what the output information we will gain. Let's start. Tie beam page is almost like the strap foundation or the strap beam. We'll find also the same. That's the how to jump within CMS pages. Here is also the legend for the uh, tie beam. What is A, B, C, D, E? We will mention now what is this code. The outputs which you will gain after completing inserting the data is the steel quantities with all diameter, the total, the concrete, the ratio between the, the steel and the uh, concrete, the waterproofing area, the surface area, and the shutter area. The same way how we dealt with the strap beam, we will deal with the tie beam. We have only will we'll enter only the type of the tie beam and how many repetition we will see now why we are putting this and uh, here's the dimension for all the uh, tie beam all the dimension here to be per meters and the lens for each tie beam from center to center as we mentioned here how we enter this one that's from the drawing directly for each type of tie beam we'll find a schedule which is telling us what the type of tie beam and what's the size by very easy way for TB1 we'll put here TB1 20 by 60 20 is the width and 60 something is the depth we will put here per meter so 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 now to enter the dimension from the drawing tie beam will take the for each type if we are considering now TB1 will take the dimension center to center for each tie beam We'll put only the, the lens for TB1 only here, either this layer or this layer, that's, that's the same. Whatever, if you put here or there, any location you will put the dimension, it will be considered. Why you put this repetition? If you have number of tie beams and it is repeated for 20 or 30 or 50 times, not need to write here for each cell. You can put, you can write only one time and write the repetition here. It will be considered and it will be, it will be multiplied by this number directly. If it is only one type and one uh, dimension you have to put here one you have to put one otherwise it will not be considered if it's zero here everything it will not be considered at all so it must be considered here as a repetition one if there is no repetition okay here we'll put the thickness of the pcc if the if there is a pcc under the tie beam maybe the tie beam will be hanging from the column to column so there is no bcc it will be if the tie beam to be uh, executed above the back filling so it must have a bcc so this according to the design and according to your methodology of the execution okay okay now we have to enter again the rebar as we said also in the strap beam we have bottom rebar top rebar side bars and the rings a b c d e which is marked here a again is a straight bottom b is the mid span bottom c is the straight top d is the above column on the top and side bars and the rings which will be how many legs and how many ring in the for one linear meter and the diameter of the ring the same we will enter from the schedule here we will enter this, all the data from the schedule directly. In the bottom, we have 316 as a straight and 316 as a mid span. So we enter here 3, 16, 3, 16. We have in the top 2, 16, and 3, 16 in above the column. So 2, 16, and 3, 16 above the column. There is no any sidebar, but there is a syrup 8 milli. 20 centi each 20 centi that means 5 piece per meter we have to enter 5 piece per meter and two legs 8 milli 
that's the way we can enter the data of the steel if you need to put any remarks here or any the location for the typing you can put if required if you need not it's not affect anything uh, the output here you can find the uh, surface area the shutter area this is different between the surface and the shutters because the, sometimes the tie beam have more margin in the in the wood so it's considered here the margin of the wood how much what is the waste of the wood so you consider the waste of the wood in this calculation that's the total length of the tie beam that's the concrete volume the enforcement concrete volume and that's the rebar and as we said if there is a pcc they will put the thickness so we have the pcc quantity and the waterproof quantity that's all for one type of the tie beam it's all we will repeat everything will be the same steps which we did which we did for tb1 for tb2 and 3 and 4 and so on as per the drawings of the of your project at the end you will find uh, all this day all this data is gathering together and you will find for each diameter for the bar as we said and other information which will begin after complete entering the data of the tie beam here also is the only hyper uh, hyperlink for how to move through the tie beam itself that's the numbers of the of the tables on all this information will reflect it to for all the project aspects as we said before in the quantity surveying in the, in the material takeoff and boq and estimation and scheduling and management and everything that's that was for the tie beam thank you and see you in the next video